This is the first video in the Flight Riot post-processing video tutorial series. It will cover generating sparse and dense 3D point clouds, as well as orthorectified imagery from pictures taken from a UAV. All software in this tutorial is freely available for non-commercial use. The two pieces of software we'll be using are Visual SFM and CMVS. You can go to their sites, which are posted on flightriot.com, or you can search for it online yourself, download each of them, configure them, and run them. I've prepared a zip file that's available at flightriot.com for download that you can extract to a Windows PC and run the software without any further configuration. Simply go to the post-processing page and click on the link to the zip file. You'll also see links to the source pages for the software. I encourage you to go there and read about each of the packages and make sure that you understand the licensing agreements. Once the zip file has completed downloading, open it in a zip extractor. Do not try to launch the software from within a zip program. It will not work. Uh, you can also copy the program file, the exe, to your desktop as a shortcut, which I usually do. At this point, you're ready to launch Visual SFM. Go to the File menu and select Open Multiple Images. Navigate to a directory of images you want to work with. Select all the images you want to load and hit OK. You'll see in the task window that it is loading the images. It'll also take some time to load the pixel data. Once it does, you'll see a grid of the images that you loaded. At this point, you're ready to run the SIFT program that will match the images to each other. This can take a long time depending on how many images you have. If you navigate to the directory where your images reside, you'll see the other files, including a SIFT file, and a text file for each image that Visual SFM created through the matching process. You're now ready to run 3D reconstruction and generate a sparse 3D point cloud. Once the images are matched, it generates the point cloud very quickly. You'll see on the screen the location of each of the shots as they were taken and their orientation to the surface the 3D point cloud is modeling. Using the control button with the mouse scroll wheel, you can increase or decrease the size of the images. Right clicking allows you to rotate the whole model, and left clicking allows you to change the center point at which the model rotates. The next step is to run CMVS and generate a dense 3D reconstruction. You'll use the CMVS button, which will prompt you to put in a file name Enter a file name that makes sense to you and click OK. This will take some time. This will probably take longer than the image match. Once the dense 3D point cloud completes, you'll have to click on the view menu and select dense 3D points. If you want to display the images relative to the 3D dense point cloud, you can press the F key on the keyboard at any time to toggle the camera locations on and off. This is a small subset of the entire flight, and using only a small subset of images, you can see that the clarity and the detail is it's very impressive. Uh, you get a, a good sense of the, the difference between the water surface, the ground surface, and the higher vegetation surfaces in three dimensions. This set of pictures is the full set from that flight. It was a very windy day. So I didn't complete the mission, but I ran two, uh, two passes. It was literally 35 to 40 mile an hour winds, so the plane was struggling. But um, 
you can see that this is 105 images and it did a good job of sorting out the surface. The next tutorial will focus on taking the outputs of this visual SFM project and running it through CMVMPS which will generate an orthorectified mosaic as well as a digital surface model. Once again, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I look forward to seeing you at flightriot.com.